Hey everyone, I'm Lindsay, owner of Black Sapphire Design. Formerly a costume company, I am here now teaching you how to make your own dance costumes and accessories for your hardest working dancers. In the next few videos, I'll be showing you how to make one of our best-selling leotards from our website from the past few years, and we'll be making it in this gorgeous floral mesh. In today's video, I'm covering how to pin together the pieces of your leotard to get it ready for assembly. So our goal here today is to pin together as many of the seams as possible to get it ready for our first machine. Normally my first machine is going over to the serger. Many of the seams on a leotard or any other lycra or spandex costume, many of those seams are going to be done on the serger. As always, you'll want to make sure that everything is laying flat that you're pinning starting at the edge or the corner, pin perpendicular to the seam, and make sure you're taking those pins out as you're sewing, as you'll see in the next video. I did make a few pattern corrections here. I realized that uh, I had made some corrections on the dress form on a previous model. I put them on the pattern, you might be able to see that temporarily in this photo with the Sharpie. Um, and I just never actually cut it off. But originally the high point of the shoulder was too high against the neck. If you know about pattern making, then you might be familiar with that. But for basic sewing skills, you don't need to understand that. You'll also see in the pile that's ready for sewing, is the bandeau that I previously pinned in the last video, the cutting video. Uh, like I said before, it was just easier for me to pin it at that step. The briefs are three layers each. So it's the lining, lycra, and mesh for this style. So this can be a bit difficult or tricky to line up all six edges neatly. So if you need to, there's a few ways that we can get around that. One of them would be to pin your leg hole openings, and then you can base them at this point to make sure that those pieces are holding together well in the right places. Then you can go on to pinning your side seams together and the crotch, and then you can search them. Another workaround is to layer the pieces one layer at a time and just make sure that everything is lining up at those side seams and the crotch seam. Also, depending on your machinery, uh, it might be easier to actually baste this edge first on your straight stitch machine. I do use an industrial strength serger, straight stitch machine, cover stitch machine. I understand those are not available to everybody, nor are they necessary for the average sewer when it comes to dance costumes. And there you have it. Everything in that pile is ready to go over to the serger. On to the next step. As you'll see, the assembly is in the next video. Did you like today's video? Like and subscribe, follow us over on social media, and let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see covered next. Bye!